Hey, what's up guys, George here and welcome back to Forging for another weekly Forex analysis. So in this video, I'm going to be analyzing British pounds, USD or cable, followed by Euro USD. So let's dive straight into the GBP USD, starting with a daily time frame. So we can see for the pretty much two weeks, no, last week, I think it was last week. So we came up, tested this weekly high, then shoot back down, tested this weekly low, and then we bounced uh Pretty nicely, actually, I would say. We had this nice, and then we had this nice uh, push down. So reaction was weekly high, and then we bounced on this weekly low pretty nicely. Uh, but we can see on Friday we put this uh, bearish bearish move. Not the best one because we can uh, we have this uh, was quite a decent size wick, not the big one, but it's a decent size uh, wick. So what price might want to do? The price might come down. Uh, test uh, test another time for this. Weekly low bounce, come up and then come all the way down and potentially break this and come down to this uh, daily, uh, it's another daily low, which is at 136.60. as a good area for the another support level. So it's a decent uh, low price action going on in here. So that could be, might be the price where my price go. Uh, this is on a waiting. This is on a waiting game. So I do want to see when the, how the market opens and then what is uh, what the price gonna do. Most likely, we're looking for uh, more eyes on the Tuesday or Wednesday. Depends uh, what the price uh, price will do. Let's go to four hour time frame. I don't want to spend too much time as well to go and, like right at the details. But might as well if you got any questions, just let me know in the comments section, and then I'll get back to you when I see them. So on a four hour time frame, it looks like it's kind of getting starting to chop a bit. So we came down here. So look at this uh, sort of a diagonal uh, descending. So basically descending, came down up, came down, tested this uh, weekly low, and then shoot back up. And then bounce on this uh, four hourly resistance. So we're just coming down. So we're gonna see how it's gonna go. Uh, but if we pay attention here, when the price came up for a uh, third time, it has failed to take out this spike high, which might uh, which might mean that the price will come down, take out this spike low, come all the way back up, take out this spike high, and then they should back down so uh, price does like to do sort of like these tricks uh, the reason why is because normally on the highs and lows there's a lot of orders so this is a four hour time frame so it's a quite a high time frame so it's gonna be a lot of orders at these places so that's why the price likes to come out and take out the prior high or prior low because then it takes out sucks all these orders in is the limit orders stop orders or whatever they the orders are, and then it will continue. What it uh, will continue, basically, the price will do what it wants to do. So this is uh, again waiting game and see how it's gonna do. Okay, now let's continue. The Euro USD looks like a similar picture than British pounds USD. However, there has a bit differences. So we can see the move is more aggressive in here towards downside, and we have broken this support level. Uh, but for the last four days, uh, trading days, I mean, we got three candles up and one candle down. So it looks very similar, and as you know, it they are highly correlated. So just watch out; don't take the same trades um, because it might, sometimes might give a same setup on the same pairs, uh, not same pairs, but the different pairs. But they are highly correlated. So watch that one out, just in case if you're not aware of uh, what aware of. I do want to mention that. Uh, similar, it is on a waiting list and uh, on a daily time frames. The basically price came uh, came up. It's bounced off of. Uh, there's quite a lot of support levels in here. There's a lot of uh, highs and lows. Uh, but I figured out this this one was more significant level. But we can see that the price has broken it, and we got another significant level, a significant support level down, uh, down at this uh, at one seventeen about forty zone. Uh, we're gonna see what it will do. So far, what we can see, the price came down, found the support. Uh, this is also a decent level as well. Found the support on this uh, this level, bounced, uh, basically broken. Uh, this resistance, which was a support, uh, came back and tested it. So we left this uh, kind of half week uh, 
to judge by the candle is a half a week so this is a sign that price maybe is gonna start pushing higher maybe uh, but I definitely want to see more evidence because let's say like uh, British pounds USD is more towards the downside uh, this one does look in a good pressure towards downside because of this bearish candles does looking quite strong uh, but however it does does building up so again waiting game so uh, trading is pretty much 70 80 percent a waiting game so let's go to the four hour time frame see what we have uh, nothing really much in the four hour time frame does bounce uh, so we did slow bounce back and yeah we did have this on the four hour time frame we did have this nice uh, push down and then the way it came up is not very strong so I would stick to the six of the more sell side more short side than the buy side but I do want to see a bit more definitely more confirmation the wait for Monday and Tuesday maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday uh, we're gonna it's gonna be more clear where the price wants to go hopefully this price uh, is going to start going on a sideway so the one thing the one thing i want to mention so we got sees this ascending so we got have we have this ascending nature so we had this nice push then again pull back up and if we're gonna get another push down something like this candle this bearish four hour candle that might be a good sign that okay this is probably gonna be approaching that on the sell side and potentially it's gonna set up because uh, it does look quite interesting, certainly if it's going to start breaking uh, this level or this level, then it's going to be a, a very, um, might look like a good uh, good setup. Let me quickly go to the one hourly time frame if there's anything to mention. I generally take my trades off of one hourly time frame, uh, depends on the trade, but generally it's on a one hourly time frame. Uh, because obviously the, the range gives me a tighter stop loss and so that means that gives me a good risk reward trades uh, so that's the, the reason for that yeah I do want to see a definitely nice push down if I would uh, take on a short side and if if it's gonna change and the price is gonna start shooting up then I would want to see a nice uh, decent bullish candles then I will be looking for the buy side. But for now, I'll stick with them more for a short rather than long. But that can, of course, change. Okay, guys, this was a weekly forex analysis. If you like this video, please smash the like on this video. It really helps my channel to grow. And I appreciate your support to my channel and me as well. And if you've got any questions, leave it in a comment section down below. And I will get back to you as soon as I see your comments. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every single week. Have a great weekend and I will see you guys in my next video.